Hugh Jackman has recently announced that Wolverine 3 will be his last time portraying the character of Wolverine. Uh, he will be hanging up the claws, per se. Um, and, you know, this is kind of bittersweet because, you know, Wolverine has played... He, uh, Hugh Jackman has played the wo role of Wolverine for the past 15 years. and wow, 15 after, years. Yeah, and Wolverine... It's been a long time. But. Yeah, and Wolverine 3 is coming out in 2017, I believe. So that'll be about 17 years he'll have been Wolverine. Yeah. Which is a very long run to, to play a single... Character. Any character, any it character. It also shows the like how long this franchise has been around too, well, uh, and and made consistent uh, additions to it. Like, yeah, and I how good. Think, there's only a handful of other. There's only a handful of other movies franchises that have so have a uh, have been churning out fairly regularly additional movies in the series for yeah. so long. The only other one I can really think of any other franchise that rivals what X Men's doing, and it's really X Men rivals what it's been doing, is the James Bond franchise. So that's exactly what came to my mind uh, yeah. initially. It's just James Bond. Yeah. So, yeah. and, and you got to think. I remember when we first heard that Hugh Jackman was going to be Wolverine, and Hugh Jackman beforehand, I believe he was like a stage Broadway actor <laughs> before that, and everybody's like, "No, you can't make him Wolverine." How dare you? That would be horrible. He's not Wolverine. No ch no way, no how, no chance. And now I can't think of anybody else who would be Wolverine. Yeah, I was trying to think of it earlier. Um, the only per other person I think would might be able to, to, to fit the, the role, I don't know if he'd be some of the edge of the, um, of the character would quite come out, but um, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe, maybe. Not really. You get at least the tough guy um, persona across pretty well, and the the kind of conflicted nature. Like you know, that's his role. I think like, he's a little he's old a... to play him though. Now, maybe if Russell Crowe had started as him in Honestly, the beginning. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too. Is because you know Russell Crowe and Hugh Jackman started doing their stuff around the same. Like Russell Crowe started coming up a little bit before um, X Men, really. I think, but um, he's a little old, but. Well, I'm trying to think. Also. Gladiator, his, you know, his his yeah. breakout movie was really in 2000, so that was yeah. or 99. So that's right around the same at, time. At the same time, even though Wolverine doesn't really age, he is an old man, and he's often depicted as the, you know, middle aged anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. I mean, he he doesn't really age. He was born in the 1800s somewhere, so it's really, you know, and and one of the things I did hear that they were planning on doing is at first, Days of Future Past was going to be a two part movie. And they were originally going to get somebody to play a younger Wolverine, um, and then that was how well, they were going to re recast him. <laughs> well, it could have made sense. I mean, if we're in the year 2060 or 2050 or whatever Days of Future Past took place, actually, I think it was 2013. But <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it, it would make sense that if you go back 40 years, okay, that works. Um, and they didn't do that, and I don't blame them for not doing that because I don't think Days of Future Past should have been a two-parter. I'm glad it was just a one-parter there. Two parts would have been a little much. Mm -hmm. But we'll probably see Wolverine pop up in Age of Apocalypse, whether he'll have a big role or not. Probably not because it's apparently going to focus on Beast, Mystique, Magneto, and Professor X, that new first-class crew. I can't really see there being a main... X Men movie. Well, I guess I guess uh, First Class was considered a main stay movie, yeah. a mainstay title. Yeah, and they didn't have Wolverine in that much. Yeah, but and and with the way Days of like Future Past, Apocalypse Apocalypse though is is a big thing for Wolverine. Doesn't Wolverine mm -hmm. help like solve nah. some of the things Apocalypse does? Well, no. In in he becomes War at one point in the comics. But so does yeah. Hulk. A lot of people become war. <laughs> but uh, I, I can see them doing it all right without him being in there. And But the thing about Days of Future Past is it kind of reset the whole timeline. So it's not going to be crazy that you're going to get um, a different Wolverine. I think I think now's a, a decent time to do it. Because, yeah, he can't keep playing it forever. Even though I kind of wish he could. Kind of wish he could. All the other actors... Well, not all the... That's not, that's not true. Not all the other actors are playing the same roles, but... They did kind of bring back some of the actors, at least in Days of Future Past. Yeah, because they could show them being super old men, you know. So, but uh, I and we're we're probably going to look at. I, I hear that Patrick Stewart is going to be in Wolverine three, so that'll probably be our farewell to both Patrick Stewart and um, Hugh Jackman to those characters. So hopefully it'll be a good movie. 
unlike Wolverine Origins, which was horrible, and Wolverine, the Wolverine, was all right. It just wasn't great. So here's yeah, the loop for Wolverine 3. Um, now, probably we'll get um, the characters that are going to fill this void that's left by Wolverine is going to be Deadpool, of course, and we're also hearing that Channing Tatum's going to do his own Gambit movie. So it's not like we'll be left without cool X-Men to, to have. The one thing that I find weird there is they're going to do a Gambit movie when he's had such a minor presence in the franchise. Like, I love Gambit. He's a great mm-hmm. character. Well, from 1992, the comic series, yeah. In, in the movie franchise, like, what? He, he showed up in, in Wolverine. Yeah, which, um, again, was horrible. Yeah, <laughs> so. and it was just, like, a fight scene with him. It wasn't even a big Well, and he pops up him. at the end. Like, and he's like, come on, Wolverine, let's go. And he's like, no, Wolverine's like, I'll make my own way, even though I don't remember anything. I'm just going to yeah. walk. He was he was not really an important character. They didn't do much with him. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of strange that they're, they're they're making, giving him, of all the characters, his own movie so far. But, but I think of all the characters... He's a great that, character. He is a great character. So I think of all the characters that have not popped up in a movie, though, he's probably the most popular, and that's especially because of the car- cartoon series. Is everybody wants to see Gambit um, pop up. So I think it's the right time you know, for him. I want to see. I want to see Nightcrawler. I, I would watch a Nightcrawler. Well, he's going to be in the Talk next one. He's going to be in Age of Apocalypse. So I want, relax. See his slow, own slow down. Well, I think that's a little ahead of ourselves, but we'll we'll see where it goes. If if Nightcrawler does as well with another movie called Nightcrawler earlier this yeah, year, that which was nothing, angered, which was not, not even it, it, it wasn't a horrible movie, but it was not it was not the right Nightcrawler. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so but we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, I think the franchise is in good hands with the Deadpool and Gambit taking over the solo films, and then we're going to continually see X Men. Uh, unfortunately, probably after the Age of Apocalypse, we're going to have some sort of reboot again. Not a reboot necessarily, but recast, because I don't think Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, James McAvoy want to keep doing those roles, even though they're crazy. They should just do it for like 20 movies. Even though James McAvoy, I can't imagine him bald. That's the only thing. That would be weird. Mm. But uh, let us know what you think. Are you sad to see Hugh Jackman go, or do you just think it's time to get Wolverine some fresh blood? Uh, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Wish My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of